In May this year, we are participating in the Affordable Hong Kong Art Fair. We commissioned our stable of artists that range from Pip Todd Warmoth, but we commissioned him to do a series of works on Formula One and also a couple of very small cityscapes of Hong Kong where he showed a number of times at the China Club because David Tang is one of his big collectors, as well as Paul Hughes, Irish artist, who's doing a chiaroscuro collection of shades of light and dark of the west of Ireland. Also Richard Allen, Australian artist we've worked with for nearly 20 years. Caterina Monnier, a French artist we've worked with for nearly 20 years. And Benjamin Warner, one of our new artists actually to the gallery that has done a series of works that are all very ephemeral landscapes of London and Hong Kong, very affordable prices and very beautiful pieces. Fran Schmidt, who's done a series of photographic multi-exposure flowers that are again very ephemeral, very beautifully framed, box framed. And then we've thrown in a few fun, very much blue chip artists into that equation, such as Tracy Emin and Banksy, that are affordable, limited edition pieces because both artists are huge performers in the auctions for limited edition. And we will also, in our art advisory office, be taking a number of important pieces. So we'll be taking a couple of oils of Frank Arbach, a beautiful screen print of Diamond Shoes of Andy Warhol. We'll be taking John Hoyland here behind me, which is an artist proof, one of only two. And we know John Hoyland is one of the great abstract artists of the 20th century. He died in 2011. And when Damien Hirst opened his Newport Street Gallery with a huge collection of John Hoyland's work, it really catapulted Hoyland back on the platform. He was always there and always an important British artist. But uh, Pace Wildenstein have taken on his work and his prices have shot through the roof. So we have a number of original Hoylands, but this particular piece will be putting into the affordable league of an artist proof of 1972, as well as Albert Irving, who was a really prolific British um, ex abstract expressionist and very popular, who died last year. And they're very exuberant, very indicative of his style, actually very exuberant paintings that are full of color and like Holland really have an intuition for line, form and color.